Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to exchange our short-lived access token, which we got in the last video, for a long-lived access token. The short-lived access token only lasts for one hour, and then it expires. The long-lived access token lasts for 60 days. We're going to hop over to our website, and when the user clicks on the Authorize button, they will be redirected back to our site, and we will exchange the code in the URL from Instagram for a short-lived access token, and then we will pass that access token to Instagram, and Instagram will give us back a long-lived access token, which expires in 60 days. The first thing I'm gonna do is, in our index file, I'm gonna give our access token a title, and this function, once we are done, will then return our long-lived access token. Now we have to update our class. So in our constructor, we're passing in the get code. And here is where we are setting our user's Instagram access token. So in this function here, right after we get our short-lived access token, we want to get our long-lived access token. Now we just need to create our get long lived user access token function. And just like our get user access token function, we're going to need to specify an endpoint and pass it along to our make API call function. So I'm just going to copy those things right into the long lived user access token function. The first thing we're going to set is our endpoint, which is different from getting our short lived access token. This is going to require a different um, endpoint URL, the graph base URL. So we're going to define this just like we defined the private um, API base URL. And this is graph.instagram.com. So now that we have our variable defined in our class, we can hit the endpoint, which is just going to be access token. Also a get request and the URL parameters are a little bit different. The only one we're going to keep here is grant type and the grant type for the um, long-lived access token is IG exchange token. Along with that we need to do the client secret. So to get the long-lived user access token we're hitting the graph uh, API endpoint access token. It's a get request and the params it requires is the app secret and it requires a grant type of exchange token since we're exchanging the short lived for a long lived. Then we can go ahead and make our API call and we will need to update our API call as well because currently we are only checking for post requests. if we're sending along a get request, we need to pass along two things, the access token along with the URL params array. All right, so basically when we have a get request, we need to always pass along an access token and we need to append on all the parameters to our endpoint URL. So right here, our endpoint URL starts off as the graph.instagram.com access token. And on here, we're appending all of our URL params, the client secret, the grant type, and our access token. Now we just have to set our class variables and save our response from the long-lived user access token return. In this case, we're going to update our user access token, which initially is the short-lived access token, to our long-lived access token. And we just get that from the response. The last thing we're going to do is create one more class variable, which is going to hold the time in seconds that the long-lived access token expires. And we're going to set this right after we get the response from our long-lived access token. And that is returned in the expires in. And again, that's in seconds. 
So we have successfully set our long-lived access token and we have set when it expires. We're going to create a function in order to get that expire time. Just like we have our get user access token, we're going to do get user access token expires. And in this function, we're going to return the variable we just set, which is the expires and it's in seconds. This way on the front end here, we can add another title expires in, and we can echo it out. And now when the user hits our web page, they click the authorized link right here. We come back, instantiate our Instagram class with the Git code from Instagram. We uh, set the user's access token. If we have the code, we get the short-lived access token. And with that short-lived access token, we get the long-lived access token and set the variables, user's access token, and the token ex expires. That way we can then call those functions and display them right here for the user to see. Now we can head over to our website and click the authorize button. Instagram returns us with a token and it tells us how many days it's going to expire in, except we missed our math. We didn't uh, divide it by the seconds in a day. So if we hop back over to our index file, echo ceiling get user Instagram access token, and we want to do 86400. That's how many seconds are in a day. And we'll try this again. Let's delete the code off the URL. Authorize again. There we go. We have our long lived access token and it expires in exactly 60 days. Now we can hit Instagram endpoints to get the user's profile information. We can get their posts, um, media information with just using this access token. We don't have to deal with sending Instagram a code anymore and getting a short lived access token and then getting a long lived access token. We can simply use this access token for 60 days. That's going to do it for this video. We have successfully exchanged our short-lived access token for a long-lived access token. Now for 60 days, we can use this access token to get all the user's information we want. In the next video, we will actually use this long-lived access token to hit the Instagram endpoints and get the user's information. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see coded next. I'll catch you later.